first and then I will uh, get down to business. Give me one second, please. Just testing. All right, that's working fine. All right, so I've done some more models um, for Deep Base Live that are of varying quality, but they're all getting pretty good. And um, I'm not going to fart around too much, but we'll start off again with, uh, you know, I had done Christian Bale at like 49,000 iterations, so we'll do that just as the baseline. You can see how much it's improved. And then I'll show you some of the other guys I've been working on. So this is the one I... Let me change that, sorry. Uh, that's not what I want. Okay, let me make sure that doesn't screw up my stream. Hold on a second. All right. So this is the one I had done at like 49,000 iterations. And, you know, it was pretty good. And then I'm going to show you, I have it now up to uh, 260,000. So we'll change that out a little bit. And again, sharpen it up a little. You can see like there's more detail on the eyes a little bit like, oh, it's hard to show it, but like there's like a little bit more like crow's feet area around the eyes. I think the hair is a little bit more detail. The teeth look better. Kind of depends on the lighting and how you have it on yourself. Like if I, there you go. Like maybe that's a little bit better. You can kind of see, like depending on if I smile, like you can see, kind of like creases around the mouth and everything that get pretty good detail. The eyes have pretty good detail. Uh, the flickering thing, it seems like it does less flickering if I have a little bit more light on my face. It's like I kind of got to find a happy medium. Try it again. Try the other direction with it. And then I got like a little lamp in here, and you can see that if I turn the lamp on or off, like it pretty much reacts appropriately, like just the right side of my face gets brighter and the other side side stays darker so it can adapt to lighting conditions pretty well so bail looks pretty good at about 260 like i said and then i did two other ones uh one of them's not that far along yet i've got uh lawrence fishburn and this is at like forty eight thousand. let's get that up there this actually looks pretty good uh, for 48000 My Lawrence Fishburne face set is really pretty sharp. I pulled it out of a lot of 4K video and, uh, like, The Matrix. Um, I did, you know, uh, Blu-ray rips from The Matrix movies to get as good a quality stuff as I could. And so Lawrence looks pretty good. Got pretty good, pro you know, side profiles. Teeth look pretty sharp. Uh, for 48000 anyway, it looks pretty good. Like, the bottom teeth aren't real well-defined yet. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, it does most angles pretty well. So we've got Lawrence well, Fishburne doing a reasonably good job. Um, you know, obviously it's kind of blending his skin tone. If I shut that off, it doesn't really look that much much better or worse. Let me try uh, blending this a little further. Yes, Jack, that's um, the A6000 on my Threadripper. I found that if you do, um, like, the setting called Face Marker, where they have, like, the the Google Mesh and different things, if you set that to CPU, it seems like it does a better job than if I set it to GPU. It's like I get a bit more uh, of a smoother frame rate. So the option to choose between, like, Face Mesh or Insight Face 2D, and the other one is uh, Open C CV LBF. Are the different options for like uh how it maps your face but it seems like that i get a better frame rate if i set that to cpu instead of running it on the gpu but everything else on the gpu so uh maybe it's because it's a thread wrapper and it handles it better i don't know but uh yeah fish bro looks really good very smooth uh and again like i say that's only forty-eight thousand iterations that could do i'm sure a lot better with a day or two of training and then the last one i worked on uh let's see yeah, I don't know. It could just be this particular processor that, like, uh, the Threadripper is fast enough to do some of these settings almost as well as the GPU, so that could have something to do with it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Keanu. Let's see. 
kind of sharpen that just a little bit. And Keanu looks pretty good. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of side profile images of Keanu, but this is, uh, again, 260,000 iterations. Let's see. Oh. Very good, sir. Congratulations on the 3090. That'll make a pretty big difference. You've been using a collab, haven't you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to try to play with one of those for a little bit, but the A6000 is pretty good. It's just uh, I know that the um, the A100s are pretty damn fast. But, yeah, I think Keanu looks pretty damn good. This is like a day of training. Like, I trained this for a day on my A6000. I didn't even set the batch file very high. Uh, it's just at 8. Uh, I could set it to 64 on that card. But, um. I don't know, someone was telling me, uh, that the guy from Paggy Studios was telling me that, like, you don't really want to go above, like, batch 32, and you don't want to go below 8, and you should do it, like, in multiples of 8, so, like, 8, 6, or, the, uh, 8, 16, like, 24, and 32, and then you shouldn't, you shouldn't go beyond that, apparently. Like, too low, and he says that it, uh, adds digital noise, and if you go above, like, batch 32, uh, like it starts starts having a problem getting the fine details of the face and you end up getting like kind of a smooth appearance. So um I don't know if you know you know, I've just been running it at eight. It seems like that works pretty good. But Keanu is like actually looking pretty detailed. Like I can get up pretty close and you can kind of see like forehead wrinkles a little bit and the eyes work pretty good. Teeth again look like good. They don't look great, but they look good. And I haven't used GAN yet on this either. This is just uh none of these have GAN. They just have learning rate dropout. Actually that's I sharpened a little bit. That looks pretty detailed. Like, you can even see, like, stubble around his lip area and stuff. This is all... I think all of this was from Matrix 1. So it kind of makes sense. He would look a certain... He had a certain look in that film. Anyways, um... I don't really have a whole lot else to talk about other than, uh... I'm gonna do some more. Like, I've got, you know, a good face set for Data... And Patrick Stewart from Star Trek. I want to do both of those. I'm actually going to start Data after I get off of this video. Uh, so I want to be able to do Data. I want to do Patrick Stewart. I want to do Joe Rogan. Um, and I want to do the Kingpin uh, Vincent D'Onofrio from um, how was the, the Punisher. Um, Vincent D'Onofrio and I actually look kind of similar. People used to tell me all the time that I looked like him. Uh, you know, he played Private Pyle in... Uh, you know, Full Metal Jacket when he was a lot younger. And, of course, when I was in the Army, everybody would tell me how much I looked like Private Pile. So, you know, might as well ad uh, adopt that and, uh, you know, ma make a deep-faced live model of him. I always liked D'Onofrio's acting. I think he's an excellent actor. So, um, you know, I could wear, like, you know, I have a suit somewhere around here. I could put on, like, my suit jacket and pretend to be the kingpin hosting a meeting or something like that. I don't know. But that said... uh not much else going on. I hope everybody's doing good tonight on this Thursday night. It's payday Thursday for me. Always a good you know, day to make your car payment. So, anyways, uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I'll talk to you guys again here real soon. Have a good night.